Why? Sorry guys, I'm a little down right now. I'm just really depressed. So let me start this off real quick. In 1991, Catherine Bigelow made the original Point Break. It was a really good action movie with Keanu Reeves and Patrick Swayze. With really good, amazing stunts, really good chemistry between the two leads, Keanu Reeves and Patrick Swayze, really quotable lines, an intense action movie, and it was really, really fun to watch. And is regarded as one of Keanu Reeves' best movies, along with Patrick Swayze's best movies. Now, 24 years later, we get a remake. Made by the same guy who made Invincible with Mark Wahlberg the Philadelphia Eagles and people watched the trailers and they got really upset and started hating on it you know I saw the original and then I looked at this remake trailer and I was like you know what I'll give this a shot maybe I'm the guy to stand up for but guys this is not me over exaggerating this is not me stating a hyperbole. It's not because of the actors. It's not because of the script. Well, kind of. And it's not because they just simply named it Point Break. Literally, in all honesty, in my humble opinion, honestly, this is one of the worst remakes I have ever seen. This Point Break movie is not even close as to being a Point Break movie. Because in the 1991 version, Keanu Reeves plays the cop, Johnny Utah. He's an undercover cop trying to arrest these criminals who are known as the ex-presidents. And then he teams up with Patrick Swayze character and they be getting along. But then, after an event, Keanu Reeves realizes that Patrick Swayze is the leader of the ex-presidents. And it was a gripping story to see what would happen with Johnny Utah and Bodie. In this movie, it's completely different. Luke Bracey, who was in The Best of Me and November Man, plays the undercover cop Johnny Utah. Now I know what you're thinking. Shouldn't he be Bodie? Yeah, that's what I was thinking as well. It was this undercover cop who was trying to arrest these three criminals, which in the original there was four criminals, and he wants to put him down to justice. Later does he realize that Bodie, played by Edgar Ramirez, who I swear should have been Johnny Utah, is the leader of these criminals. But you know how in the original where they were like bank robbers and stuff, showing that the human spirit is still alive and that people can rebel against the government whenever they want? Instead, we get this. These three criminals are attempting something called the Osaki Age, which means you have to do like eight simple tests that have to do with the elements of nature, which involves snowboarding, mountain biking, climbing on walls like your Bear Grylls or something, which has absolutely nothing to do with the original movie, and you're surfing on waves, so... I guess that's something Point Break-ish. Now again, like I said this, this is one of the worst remakes I have ever seen, and I am not kidding. I am not angry because of the fact this is a Point Break movie, they're doing it wrong. I'm angry because of the fact that the script is so terrible. Because in this movie, nothing relates to the original, and it wants to be nothing like it, which is the biggest problem. If you're making a Point Break remake, then make it feel like a Point Break movie. Here, what you're watching is just extreme sports you see on ESPN. And the story is nothing like in the original, because some elements in the remake don't even match what's in the original. By the time you're in the second act, it goes completely different from being a Point Break movie. And by the third act, it tries to be a Point Break movie, but it ultimately fails at that. And let's talk about the characters, because they're interesting, right? <laughs> Wrong. These characters are so one-dimensional, and they have zero, exactly, zero chemistry with each other. Johnny Utah and Bodhi's chemistry isn't there because the only time it's there is when they're flying in those flying squirrel suits through the mountains. And that's it. There's no relationship between Johnny Utah and Bodhi, and there's no relationship between Johnny Utah and Sarah. Because in the original, you know how Sarah and Johnny Utah ended up having some really amazing good chemistry and started getting along well? This Sarah in this movie is exactly a plot device. And she's barely even a character. Because Sarah played by Teresa Palmer is just there to make googly eyes at Johnny Utah and she has nothing to do with anything in the story. None. None whatsoever. Even at times where you're supposed to feel sorry at the time when she gets shot, Spoiler, you just don't care because that's how uninteresting every single character in this movie is. There's no relatable chemistry. There's no quotable lines in there. There's no kind of awesomeness in the beach where it should have just mainly be at. It's nothing like it. Now the acting is just so generic and so bland as can be. Luke Bracey and Edgar Ramirez I just want you to be in a different movie. Well, hey, at least Edgar Ramirez is in Joy with Jennifer Lawrence. That's something to look forward to, right? I want them to show off their A-game. Like, for example, Luke Bracey. Instead of being in movies like The Best of Me and The November Man, all those bad movies, how about you replace Jai Courtney in every single movie he's in? 
That'll get your career up. And Edgar Ramirez, how about you do something awesome, like being a motion capture for a Planet of the Apes movie? Or how about playing a character that actually means something, instead of playing a philosophizing hipster that wants to do the Osaki 8? Oh, and let's not forget Pappas, who is Gary Busey in the original. Just a guy. Oh yeah, the ex-president. You know how there's like four ex-presidents with all like masks and stuff? Instead, there's three people with motorcycle masks. Yeah, they're the ex-presidents. The stunts are fine to look at, but they're nothing special. Even at times, you know that what you're watching are just stuntmen just doing the stunts. Not the actors like they were in the original, but stuntmen. This movie is just lazy in every single sense of the word. No, scratch that. This movie is the definition of laziness. You have one-dimensional characters with exactly no chemistry or life into them whatsoever. Actors who don't resemble their characters well. Zero continuity with scenes in the original to match those scenes in this remake. The story is nothing like the original and is completely just what are they thinking. And the stunts are fine but they're nothing special either. Now I want to have a Point Break remake but the fact is is that whenever you're making a remake like this and you end up being lazy, that just makes me broken inside. And this is coming from the guy who loves the original. Point Break gets a zero out of five. All right, guys, that is my review of Point Break. Comment below, let me know what you thought about the movie. Find me on Facebook, Google+, or private message me on YouTube if you feel like it. My name is Luke Newcomb, and in the words of Patrick Swayze, adios, amigo.